What's up YouTube, this is Prince of Day TP101 and Apple just released 7.1.2 and I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak it untethered with Pangu 1.1. So I'm going to show you guys that I'm on 7.1.2 general about and there it is right there 7.1.2. So links to download um, Pangu will be in the description below and this works for basically all devices that support 7.1.1. I mean 7.1.2 so just open up Pango keep your device plugged in <clears throat> and when Pango open up this is for Windows and Mac so when you go to the download link just download the version that you the, the computer you have Mac or Windows and this is now in English so now you can see iPhone 6 that's my iPhone 5s and all you have to do guys is just hit jailbreak and guys, if you did the over-the-ear update over your phone, I want you to go to iTunes and restore. I mean, create a backup, then restore to um, 7.1.2. Because if you do the over-the-ear update, you might get an error when you do this jailbreak. And if you wait while jailbreaking, if iTunes su suddenly opens, just let it run. Just don't close it out. Just just minimize it and let the jailbreak continue. So here we go. I'm gonna click on jailbreak and it's gonna tell us to go to settings and go to general date and time and then we're gonna turn off automatic and we're gonna set it to June I mean June 2nd just like that June 2nd and it should start jailbreaking after that. It's going to tell us to do the June 2nd, 2014. Where we at? 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 There we go. June 2nd, 2014. And then the jailbreak is going to start. Um, continue with Pangu. Just like that. Now we could exit out of that. <clears throat> I just keep my phone right here. Said injecting bundles, please wait. So let's let it do its thing, guys. And I come back when we're at the next step. So now it's asking me to tap the Pangu app. So there you go, Pangu on the second page. Tap on it. Processing, just wait a few minutes. So we're just gonna let it run. And it should reboot whenever it's ready. And again, guys, this works for all devices that supports 7.1.2. So your both iPad minis, the iPad first gen and the retina, iPad Air, all the iPhones that support it, and iPad and the iPod fifth gen, all those devices. That a little bit. There you go, it's rebooting now. And again guys, just be patient and just let it do its thing. You will get your jailbreak on your latest firmware 7.1.2. And if you guys want some tweaks, I'll also link some tweak videos in the description below. So you guys could check them out and get a setup. And if you guys want to see how I set up my jailbroken iPhone, you guys can let me know in the comments and I'll make a a video showing you guys how I set up my whole security system and my setup overall because my security on my phone is pretty nifty so <clears throat> that's that I do is thing waiting for 
waiting for a response please make sure your device is not powered I mean not password protected my bad mine is anyway but that shouldn't matter this cannot verify identity all that storage don't worry about that stuff Let it do its thing. See, it's rebooting again. Now it says done right here on Pango. It says done right here. So let's let let's leave it open anyway, and just let the iPhone reboot again. And you should you should see Cydia on your device after this. So let me exit out of Pango. Just like that. And again, guys, this is Pangu version 1.1. Setting up Pangu and all that. Now I'm getting all the information. Exit out of that. Cydia, oh my, I couldn't find Cydia, but because I was jailbroken on the previous device, I, Cydia already set my phone is all set up, so there it is in the folder right there. Usually it just pop up right here, but I had my jailbreak folder and everything it just pops up right there. Let me see if I can focus. Let me open that up, open up Cydia, preparing file system because I updated my phone. I'm um, using iTunes and I didn't say I, I restored from a or, or older backup so it had like everything remembered so when Cydia was downloaded put it in a folder just like how I have it when I jailbreak my phone after my setup. I'll come back after this whole file preparing system is done. Okay guys now that that's done let's open up Cydia again and it should start working fine. It's just loading and there you go. Cydia 1.1.12 7.1.2 all that so there you go guys that's Cydia running on a 7.1.2 device it's Prince with ATP 101 rate comment and definitely subscribe for more videos like this and let me know if you guys want to see the ultimate iPhone security setup and tweet videos and all that links in the description but the security one I'm gonna make that pretty soon so thumbs up for that peace thanks for watching